In May of 2023, LEGO released set 75348, The Mandalorian Fang Fighter vs. TIE Interceptor. Coming in at 957 pieces for 100 US dollars, this might have been the best set of the wave. It includes a TIE pilot, an Imperial astromech, a Mandalorian fleet commander, and Din Djarin. This was the first appearance of the new Darksaber mold, and it did not disappoint. This set also included an Imperial TIE Interceptor and a Mandalorian Fang Fighter. The Fang Fighter has room for one pilot and is very compact. I love how thin and sleek the build is, and it comes in a beautiful new printed windshield along with two spring-loaded shooters. The build does have one major flaw though. The wings on the Fang Fighter are meant to be separate from the body and have the ability to spin around the cockpit. I don't know why LEGO decided to make it like this, but they did. The TIE Interceptor, on the other hand, is basically perfect. They smoothed out the wings very well, added a lot of detail in a small space, made it very sturdy, and gave plenty of space for a pilot in the cockpit. If you are anything like me and like to take apart your sets for mocks, then this is a very good set to do so. I ended up buying two of this set, and I used the parts towards both my U-Wing and my TIE Brute mocks. The figures in the set are also great. The Din Djarin minifigure was incredible as always, and the new Darksaber to top it off was a great addition. The TIE pilot in the set is identical to the one from the TIE Bomber from earlier in the year. My only problem with LEGO's TIE pilots nowadays is that there is a large gap on the back of the helmet that shows off the skin of the head underneath. If LEGO could change the mold in the future, or even go back to the balaclava print, then this problem would just go away. The Mandalorian fleet commander in this set is very well done and I wouldn't change anything about it. I especially love the face print underneath the helmet. The Imperial astromech has great printing but doesn't stand out really in any way. Having the astromech in the set doesn't make much sense but it also doesn't make the set worse in any way. If I had to change this minifigure lineup, I would have swapped the astromech with one of the other named Mandalorians that showed up in Season 3. Even though the set does have its flaws, the good parts of the set easily make up for it. If you're considering buying this set, it's still on lego.com and is probably still on shelves. I do recommend picking it up. For my set rating, I'd give this a 7 out of 10. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like and subscribe. See you in the next video!